Alright, here we have another interesting probability question. This diagram represents a haunted house. Suppose a person enters this maze at the top and makes a decision randomly as to which path to follow. We want to construct a tree diagram to determine the probabilities of each of the paths that lead to the ghost room and the goblin room. So first I'm just going to start by labeling all the paths. Here's path A, path B, path C, path D. And since you are choosing these at random, you have an equal chance of choosing each of these. You have a 1 in 4 chance, so you have 4 options for each. Now if you choose path A, you must go left. So I will label path E and you have a 100% or 1 out of 1 chance. You must choose path E. And path E leads you to the ghost room. Now if you choose path B, once you walk down this path, you have two options. You can continue to go straight, so I'll label them. You have option G or you have option H. So there are two paths. So if you choose path G, you have a 50% chance of choosing that. You have a 50% chance of choosing path H. Once you choose path G, you're pretty much straight at the ghost room, so I'll just stop there. There's really no choice to uh, make. Now, if you are on path H, you keep walking until you get to the ghost room. And then for path C, if you decide to head down path C, when you get here, you can either go straight or you can take a left. So you have two options. You have a 50% chance. If you choose path K, you're already at the ghost room. If you choose path L, there's no more decisions to make, you end up in a goblin room. And if you had chosen path D, once you turn right, you have this choice to make. Either continue to go straight or go to the right, M or N. If you choose path M, you have no more decisions to make, you're heading straight to the goblin room. If you have N, you're heading straight to the goblin room. And just so you know, at this branch you had two options, so there's one half. And these are the list of all our probabilities. So just to make sure our diagram is accurate, we should calculate the probabilities of traveling along each path. This first path here, you have a 1 in 4 chance. If you travel along this path here, you have 1 fourth times 1 half, which is 1 eighth. If you travel along this path here, you have 1 fourth times 1 half, which is 1 eighth. If you travel along this path here, you have 1 fourth times 1 half, which is 1 eighth. If you travel along this path here, you have 1 fourth times 1 half is 1 eighth. If you travel along this path here, 1 fourth times 1 half is 1 eighth. And if you travel along this path here, you have 1 fourth times 1 half, which is 1 eighth. And if we add up all the probabilities, we should get 100%. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 eighths. This is also 2 eighths. So we have all the paths. A question that you might be asked is, what are the chances of you ending up in the ghost room? Well, you can end up the ghost room if you take this path, the ghost room if you take this path, this path, even this path. So you have a 1 8 plus 1 8 plus 1 8 plus 2 8. You have a 5 out of 8, which as a percentage, let me get this calculator here. 5 divided by 8 is 62.5% chance of ending up in the ghost room. And that concludes the example.